Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by DxO, and we're taking a look at their Photolab software, which is a very powerful photo editing tool that so many of you guys have been recommending to me over the years. I finally managed to spend some proper time with it, and I wanna show you guys why it's really impressed me and why, as a Canon user, I feel like I'm getting more out of my files than ever. We'll also dive into some of the new standout features that come in the latest update, Photolab 9, that are gonna be really exciting for both new and existing users. So first of all, what is Photolab? So DxO Photolab is a professional photo editing and raw processing app known for its powerful automatic corrections and seriously impressive noise reduction. And what makes it stand out is how it uses DxO's huge camera and lens testing database to analyze each image that you put into the app and apply precise optical fixes to things like distortion, vignetting, chromatic aberration and even sharpness and it's all tailored to the specific gear that you shot with. And a lot of lenses that I use these days rely pretty heavily on digital corrections and in Photolab those corrections just look better. And it's something that I noticed straight away when just comparing Photolab to a lot of my shots in Lightroom. So take the RF 24 to 240 for example. So it's a super zoom that needs a fair bit of correction in general and it can show a lot of chromatic aberration and purple fringing. Um, so if we look at this image, uh, first of all in Lightroom, it's really obvious when we look at these branches at the top of the frame, um, you can see so much purple fringing here, even with the corrections in Lightroom applied. And then now let's go over to Photolab and look at the same photo, the same branches in the same area, and it's just so much cleaner. And I haven't had to do anything special to achieve this. This is just loading it up in Photolab. So I just find that their lens corrections are just better. And beyond the great optical corrections, Photolab has all of the usual tools that you'd expect to find uh, for full photo editing that you'd find in something like Lightroom. So color grading, local adjustments, but in Photolab, it's got very advanced denoising options like Deep Prime and Deep Prime XD, which we'll go into um, in a bit more detail later. But what I'm trying to say is in general, Photolab for most people could really replace your current editor. It has all the tools you'll need if you're coming from something like Lightroom. And one of the standout features in Photolab that's just got me so excited to look through old files is its raw processing. It's genuinely a step above Lightroom when it comes to pulling out every bit of detail and especially color from a Canon raw file. The difference between the two is pretty huge in my testing, so let me show you. So for example, when you first load a file into Photolab, the colors just look so much better straight away compared to Lightroom. So here's a shot. First of all, this is in Lightroom with no edits at all. And as you can see, it looks flat. There's barely any color in the image at all. There's no color in the sky. It almost looks black and white. And I'd normally have to apply one of my presets and do some pretty heavy editing to get it to a point where I think it looks decent. But if we swap over to Photolab now and look at the exact same photo with just the default settings when you load it into Photolab, and it just looks so much better, as you can see way closer to a finished image with way nicer color and so much more detail in the image immediately. So Photolab does apply some light automatic adjustments to a shot when you import them and that helps get it pretty close to a finished look uh, right after import. But even if you just turn all that off and just look at the base processing, it still looks so much better uh, than Lightroom in my opinion. And the difference is kind of shocking to be honest because I can see color um, in Photolab that just isn't there in Lightroom. And that's it, in Photolab, I feel like I'm actually getting true Canon colors. The kind of look that I'll get straight out of camera looking at my Canon JPEGs that look great. In Lightroom, the colors have always felt a bit flat and a bit off, and they need a lot of work to look right in my experience. And I've tried different camera profiles and even third party ones, and nothing matches what I'm getting in Photolab right now. And this is the closest I've ever got to the Canon colors that I love. And in general, Photolab seems to just pull more detail out of my RAW files compared to Lightroom. So take a look at this photo. So in Lightroom, yes, I can bring down the highlights slider. If I bring it down all the way, it does reveal a bit more detail in the sky, sure. But compare it to Photolab, you can just recover so much more detail in the sky. Um, but not just that, it's the actual color that it brings back into the sky as well. And this is a consistent difference that I notice when editing high dynamic range photos and raw files in Photolab compared to Lightroom. And one tool I really love using in Photolab is Smart Lighting. And it's basically like an intelligent exposure balancing tool that analyzes the whole image 
especially faces and key subjects in the image, and it automatically adjusts the brightness to recover highlights and lift shadows, and it just improves dynamic range without making the photo look flat. And it's really useful for shots with, say, an underexposed subject, maybe they're backlit. Um, take a look at this image, for example. And it is just such a great tool to make an image look more balanced with just one slider. And speaking of underexposed images, Photolab has pretty much the best noise reduction in the game. It is just amazing for quickly and effectively cleaning up noisy shots. So take a look at this one, shot at ISO 25,600. And with just simply one click, you can tidy it up beautifully. And Photolab gives you a couple of different kind of denoising options, depending on how powerful your computer is. So I'm using Deep Prime XD here, which is the best option for this image that takes the most processing power. But as you can see, it's so much cleaner after I apply this without any loss in detail. And now in Photolab 9, there's a brand new denoising mode that is specifically made for Fujifilm files, and it's called Deep Prime XD3. And if you're a Fuji shooter, you'll know just how badly most editors, especially Lightroom, handle sharpening and denoising with these X-Trans files. They often cause some really weird kind of worming effect, but with this XD3 mode, that's all gone. So here's a super noisy file. This was shot on the Fuji X106. And again, using this new mode, just one click, and it cleans it up really nicely, but at the same time, keeps all the detail. And I don't see any of those strange artifacting that you're used to seeing with Fuji files in Lightroom, for example. Now onto one of the other big new updates in Photolab 9, which is AI powered masking for local adjustments. So you can switch to the AI masking mode, hover over any part of your image, and Photolab will automatically generate a really detailed mask for that particular area. And the nice thing is that all of this AI processing is done locally on your computer, so nothing gets sent off to the cloud to DxO, so you retain your privacy, and, and that isn't the case with a lot of other kind of AI editors out there. The landscape shot is great for quickly selecting um, elements in the shot, like buildings, trees, or in this shot, for example, this boat. I can then make targeted adjustments to the boat, like boost the exposure a little bit, and maybe add a little bit of clarity. But it's also really great for portraits as well, because you can quickly select, say, a subject's hair, or skin, or face, and make fast local adjustments. So like here, I'll just quickly darken the hair a little bit and add a little bit of sharpening. And I'll also brighten the eyes a little bit. And it just really speeds up selective editing because now you're no longer spending ages brushing around tiny details just to create a mask. But down here as well, you can also find predefined subject options. So you can just pick a um, subject, face, hair, background, or sky. And the masking has been incredibly accurate in my experience especially on skies where you can tweak color and exposure of the sky without getting all that weird haloing um, around the edges do you often get in other editors. And going back to denoising for a second, something that I found really useful is combining it with these new AI masking tools. So now you can selectively apply noise reduction or sharpening to specific parts of the image rather than having to apply it to everything. For example, this is a really noisy shot taken at a very high ISO, and I can just select the background and apply some fairly heavy denoising to just the outer focus areas. And this will leave my subject crisp and sharp, whereas with most other editors, it will just apply the denoising uniformly across the shot and it'll soften up your subject and other important details in the image. You can also use this AI masking to just target the darkest, noisiest part of an image. So then you're only really applying noise reduction where it's actually needed. And it's just a really smart way to keep your subject looking clean and detailed without over-processing the whole photo. But yeah, for environmental portraits like this, I love adding a little bit more punch and depth to the image by applying selective sharpening to just my subject. So. I can simply come down here and choose subject in the AI masking panel and add some sharpening and then use this clear view plus slider, which is amazing. It's kind of like clarity, but it really helps make your subject pop. And I'll also add a little bit of this micro contrast slider, which is really awesome as well. And the best part is that it only affects the subject and not the background or anything else in the scene. Photolab 9 also brings extended compatibility for iPhone images, so it now supports Apple Hike, Hive, and ProRAW files. 
which is great for somebody like me who shoots a lot on my phone when traveling, I can now load these files straight into Photolab and get all this same powerful raw processing now on my iPhone photos. And it really shows because you can really push your iPhone shots a lot further than you think when you're editing them in some proper software like this and not just on your phone. And it's great because now you don't need separate apps for your camera files and your phone files. You can just do it all now right here in Photolab. Photolab 9 also brings a whole bunch of workflow upgrades that make managing larger photo libraries a whole lot smoother. So now you can batch rename files using metadata, EXIF info, or just your own custom text which is a huge time saver when you're working through big shoots. I also love this now, they have added image stacking, so you can now group up similar shots together like this, and it just keeps your library so much more organized when you're working on a lot of similar photos. This is really good as well, they've also added favorites for folders and projects, so the places that you use the most often and you're always accessing are now much quicker to get to. And it's all these little quality of life improvements that really help you stay organized now in Photolab and just speeds up your workflow, especially if you're a working photographer or somebody that shoots a lot. All right, so that is DxO Photolab. And with Photolab 9, this raw editor is more powerful than ever. And in a lot of ways is a great alternative to Lightroom. And honestly, I think it is a much better raw processor than Lightroom. I've always heard that Lightroom was uh, behind in this department but using Photolab has made that glaringly obvious to me. Plus another benefit is that DxO offers a one-time purchase option. So you're not permanently locked into any kind of subscription model uh, like I am with Lightroom. So if you wanna check it out for yourself, I definitely recommend downloading the free trial and just load in some old raw files, uh, shots that you've edited in Lightroom and just look at the difference because I really do think you'll be impressed. That's what I did for the first few hours of trying out Photolab and I just couldn't believe what I was seeing in terms of the difference uh, against Lightroom. DxO were also kind enough to send out a discount code, which I'll put on screen and in the description. So if you're already sold and want to pick up a license, just use the code JAMESREADER for a discount. And at the time of uploading this video, DxO should have some pretty great Black Friday deals on. So yeah, now might be a better time than ever to check out Photolab. But that's it from me. Give me your honest opinion on Photolab and DxO software in general because they've also got loads of other really great tools that I still need to check out. But if you've got any questions, drop them in the comments and I'll get back to you. But that's it from me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.